There are two candidates running for the one available spot on the Board of Health. And to help you choose who to vote for at the annual town election on April 11th, municipal producer Liz Collegian spoke with the candidates to learn more about them. Why are you running for the Board of Health? I'm running for the Board of Health. Uh, this will be my eighth, eighth term. And I want to continue to see the board, uh, the health department improve. Um, we've come a long way in the past uh, roughly 20 years from having a part-time health director uh, and only having a very rudimentary staff to having a very well-staffed health department that's on the cutting edge of uh, dealing with issues and, uh, in, that affect residents of Needham uh, and their health. I'm running for the Board of Health because I want to help. I've done, I was and had been on the Board of Health a couple of terms, probably five or six years ago, and I stopped because they just, life just got too busy. And, um, but my kids don't, aren't, have grown up and now life is somewhat less busy. Um, and I, I have a lot of experience I'd like to bring to bear. I've worked for, I was obviously on this Board of Health for a couple of terms. I've been on the state board of, the equivalent of state Board of Health the, um, for Department of Public Health for seven years, I've also worked closely with um, the Board of Health in Lowell, um, and I have a, a lot of international experience. What are the major issues facing the Board of Health? The opioid crisis and uh, drug use in, in town, but, but particularly opiates. Uh, the police department and, and the emergency squad is called out on a fairly regular basis to deal with people who have um, adverse reactions to substances they've taken. The other issue, uh, which is, it doesn't affect the whole town, but it affects part of the town uh, where the uh, activity from uh, Eversource would be uh, ongoing, is the burying of the uh, high power lines uh, and the removal of some of those lines, the overhead lines, and burying them under the streets uh, in the town. And there's concerns about uh, the dangers of electromagnetic radiation and the uh, technology uh, has changed a little bit uh, so that there's some new coatings that they're using that we, we've uh, uh, spent some time researching. We've uh, read and worked with all the materials that Eversource has actually given us. We've tried to verify that the conclusions that were reached by their consultants were actually valid uh, conclusions. Uh, and we've been working very hard on that issue. The other uh, issue that uh, I'm concern we're concerned about is um, monitoring any demolitions in town um, because uh, some houses, especially if they've been empty for a while, they get infested with rodents and other um, uh, vermin such as uh, um, well, carpenter ants and, and, and other things like that. And those have to be eliminated before the house is torn down, otherwise they go find all the neighbors' houses. There's a significant amount of substance use among both young people and adults. Um, and I think we can do more to help try to quell the use, among, at least among younger people, and get them, if you're going to use something, to start later. Um, st start when you're able to manage it better. Um, and I think that the introduction of marijuana comes at a time when we already have enough problems. You know, it is what it is, and it's certainly the will of the people of the Commonwealth per se, although not necessarily the will of the people of Needham. Um, and I think we have enough problems as it is with with opioids, <coughs> excuse me, with prescription drugs. And I think there's a number of things that the Board of Health could become involved in to help try to address both those problems and to try as best we can to introduce marijuana to the mix as safely as, as possible. It's never going to be perfect. Um, I also think that we could be, perhaps do more to address the needs of seniors. Uh, again, the seniors in Needham are relatively well off compared to people who live with a lot less money, but they too have, you know, there are limits on their resources. You know, when they bought their house, their house costs 10% of what it's probably going to cost, would cost to replace it now. So access to housing and access to services and access to other people 
especially, is an issue for seniors who become increasingly isolated as, you know, the kids move away, their friends die off, they're, you know, they don't go off to work every day and they're just less engaged with the rest of the world. And I, oh, while that's not exactly a medical problem per se, I think it is directly affecting their health. And I think it's something that, you know, even there was a recent survey by the Department of, by the Board of Health and um, the, town, the rest of the town government about what do seniors want and that sort of isolation and being able to stay in their home uh, safely was their highest priority. I think there's something, there's a lot we could do to help with that.